Boop. My microphone only works on the front part of the camera, so I have to do that. What's up, sophomores? Hey, hi, good morning. I'm gonna be pretty brief today because it's just a brief day. Um, so yesterday, actually, maybe I won't be brief because I do want to talk through this. Yesterday, you watched Act 3 up to Scene 2, but we haven't read any of Act 3. So that's what you'll do. Oh, no, that's a lie. We've read one. <laughs> I should just restart this, but I'm not going to. So I should stick to the script. Yesterday, you watched up to Act 3, Scene 2. Today, you'll read Scene 2 and Scene 3. Um, scene two is very, very important. Not that scene three isn't, but scene three, and you'll see when you look in your book, it's like very short. And it's just like moving to the next act. But the other scene is is pretty important. And um, you might notice that it's one of the passages that will potentially be tested over. There's actually two passages from scene two. And so this is Caesar's funeral. So if you recall, like, in the very, very, very beginning, Brutus was like, I don't want to kill Caesar. And then Cassius is like, but you should. And he's like, okay, yeah, I guess I will. And then, so now Brutus is in on it. And then they kill him. Ah! And then Antony comes out, and he's like, whoa, guys. And then they're like, you want to, like, be on our squad? And he's like, sure. And then looks to the camera and goes like, wink. Because we know that he's he's too good of a dude to do that. And he says, can I speak at the funeral? And they're like, hmm, sure. So this has like been, like a lot of the play has led up till this moment. Um, and we're going to see what happens. So Brutus is going to speak first. And we can assume what Brutus is going to say based off our knowledge of him. And then Anthony's going to speak. And we don't know... <clears throat> um, what he's going to say yet but we can infer as an audience that like it's probably not going to be something that the conspirators are going to like so read this one carefully um and and you're going to want to know that because we're going to actually do something in response to that on thursday and like i said there's a two of this passages are from that scene so might be worth it after that, you're gonna do a worksheet. It's a graphic organizer, it's just a Word doc. You'll download it and then fill it out and then re-upload it. And all you need to do is come up with three bullet points of three things that Brutus did and three things that Anthony did and then three things they have in common. And if you actually watch this video, I'm gonna give you some insider information because I can look at the numbers and know that not everybody is. But also I've been uploading them kind of late, so whoops. It doesn't have to be full sentences. Just give me full thoughts. Like, I'm not trying to overwork you during this time. Uh, feel free to use those videos that we watch, and no fear in all that, because I'm not really making you do that today. We're just going reading to assignment, which is pretty rare for us. But I guess you did watch the movie yesterday. So, I don't know. Okay, I'll check you in the video.